This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and today we're going to be doing something just a little bit different. I have long resisted taking the dive into lever locks, mostly because they're relatively uncommon in the US, as are the tools for opening them. But that, of course, is no excuse, especially since so many of you have been asking me about them. So over the last few weeks, I've been trying to teach myself a new skill, and I've been helped along the way by my friends at uklockpickers.co.uk with sourcing of tools and locks that aren't common or in some cases aren't even available on this side of the Atlantic. So with any luck, you're going to start seeing a few lever locks in the mix over the coming weeks. But we're going to start by diving into the deep end of the pool with this Chubb Cruiser Padlock. It's been in my collection for a while, but I have never had the tools or skills required to open it. This is a massive two pound beast of a padlock made by Chubb. At least it used to be, it's now made by Union. It is 73 millimeters wide, 28 millimeters thick, and it has a 13 millimeter hinge shackle that's fairly well protected from external brute force attacks. The core is a five lever design with offset bidding. It's generally considered to be quite pick resistant. The levers do have false gates that are very tough to recover from. What I do is actually pick through the lock a few times to learn where the gates are and how to avoid them. It's not really that hard. There's only five levers, so learning where the false gates are is a relatively easy process. And I'll demonstrate that as I pick this. So let's get to it. I'm using a tensioner and a picking wire that I got from uklockpickers.co.uk. And I should note that this lock does seem to like relatively stout tension. So that's what I'm going to be using on it. Okay, let's start in the beginning. One is loose, so is two, so is three, four is binding, got to click there. Got to click out of five, and I think I felt a little bit of movement on the core. Back to the beginning. Nothing on one. Two is binding. Got to click out of him, little more movement on the core. Three is still springy, so is four and five. Back to one, one is binding. Okay, and I just dropped into a false gate. And as I said, these are very difficult to recover from. So what I'm gonna remember is that when one is binding, I'm going to let off the tension and try to push past that false gate before we drop into it. So let's reset. Start back at the beginning. One is loose, so is two, so is three. Click out of four, click out of five, and again, little movement on the core. Back to the beginning, nothing on one. Two is binding. Got to click out of him and a little bit more movement on the core. Nothing on three, four, or five. Back to the beginning. Okay, one is binding, so I'm going to really let off the tension and try to push past the false gate onto the true gate, and there we go. It looks like we got this open. Okay, now I just need to get this tool out. There we go. So, not a bad pick. Honestly, I was expecting a little bit more given the lock's reputation, but I'd imagine this is enough to stop all but the most skillful of attackers. So that's all I have for you today on this Chubb Cruiser Padlock. If you do have any questions or comments about it, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.